Hi everyone, I'm Sean, co-founder and chief hardware architect at Cerebra Systems. I'm so excited Cerebris can be a part of the ICLR Sparsity Workshop this year. At Cerebris, our mission is to solve the problem of the exponential growth in large ML models. Can you believe that training a large model today can take up to 1 million exaflops? We believe this unprecedented growth demands a new approach. And at Cerebris, our approach is to first go big, really big. We built a wafer scale chip. That's the largest chip in the world with 850,000 cores and some truly mind boggling performance numbers. We then built a system around it, the CS2. And we built more systems. And we didn't stop there. We recently announced the Andromeda wafer scale cluster. It's one of the largest AI supercomputers in the world. And we used it to train a suite of large GPT models called Cerebris GPT. We trained these models for the ML community, and we made them fully open source. We already have over 300,000 downloads and counting. But scale isn't everything. We need to go beyond brute force flops. We need to go sparse. I don't need to tell you all this. I know that here, I'm preaching to the choir. We all know that sparsity can reduce both compute and memory substantially. And as a result, sparsity research has increased dramatically over the recent years. But sparse ML algorithms alone is not enough. We need hardware. So at Cerebris, we designed our hardware to be fundamentally supporting sparsity from day one. We do this by first using the fully distributed memory on the wafer to achieve extremely high memory bandwidth. With GPU memory bandwidth bottlenecks, they can only run gem operations fast. That's matrix, matrix multiplies only. But with the Cerebrus memory bandwidth, we can run all the way down to AXPE at full performance. That's vector scalar multiply. This is the key to sparsity acceleration because a sparse gem is just a series of AXPE operations one for each non-zero element. Next, we built our cores with fine-grained data flow scheduling. That's where all the computation is triggered by data. This is what enables native sparsity acceleration because it filters out all zero data and triggers compute only on non-zero data. And with this capability, we can enable the CS2 to achieve near linear performance scaling with sparsity. That's even for fully unstructured sparsity patterns. Using this, at Cerebris, we are investigating various vectors of sparsity. The first is to enable faster training with SPDF. That's sparse pre-training and dense fine-tuning. This work is actually being presented at this workshop, so come find us to learn more. The second is using sparsity to increase model accuracy by applying sparse isoflop transformations. And lastly, we are pruning large models with high degrees of sparsity for inference. Now, in addition to our work, there is so much great sparsity research happening by you, the community, and we believe collaboration is critical. At Cerebris, we have the only hardware that can accelerate unstructured sparsity at scale and we would love to work with you. Imagine demonstrating speed up on your sparse algorithms, even for unstructured sparsity. Imagine running your sparse experiments substantially faster, and imagine doing all of this at scale. This is now all possible because the Cerebra CS2 and wafer scale cluster is now available on the cloud. And today, we are happy to give each of the Spotlight papers a $5,000 credit to use it. But to everyone here at the workshop, please reach out to us to find out more because we are so excited and can't wait to see what we can do together. Thank you.